Well, then by 1998, you decided to officially leave the drug game. Yes. Around that, was there, yeah. Around, yeah. Okay, I'm going to say, yeah, around 98, yes. Around that time. Was there like a final incident or moment where you just said, I'm done with this? Like, once again, yeah, my, my family. You know, I, I'm a family man, okay? You know, one reason, you know, this, this shit, this 50 Boys Entertainment, all that is starting right now. I'm I'm doing this shit for the securities for my family, okay? Because I'm at the age not, right now. I'm not be, about to be no fucking hip hop granddaddy, okay? So um, <laughs> this is for my family, okay? And I'm I, I'm like at the point that I'm doing all the shit that I'm doing for them. And when I got out the game. Uh, then it was because my family was giving me pressure, okay? Because, you know, I'm, I'm going to tell you and all you motherfuckers that's out here watching that shit, because once you lose your family and, and you know, because your family is your true mother, you get loyalty first from your family, okay? Then, you know, you look outside. So once, you know, you listen, you know, you got to listen to what your family is saying, Okay? And, you know, you got to listen to, you can't think about just yourself, okay? You got to think about your family in this situation as well, okay? Because I'm going to tell you this, you know, God blessed me. Yeah, he blessed me without doing no hard motherfucking time. Because when, when you when you behind them bars, you, you know, you miss birthdays. You miss everything. You miss holidays. You miss, you miss everything. Everything out on the outside, you miss all that shit. And you can't you can't bring that shit back. That shit is gone. When you you know you doing a fucking 10, 15, 20 bit, once again, to God's grace, I didn't do that. Okay. I got out in time. Cause it, you know, the fucking feds, I know no motherfucking alphabet motherfuckers was looking at me. Okay. I seen motherfuckers down the street. Well, I seen this shit. But before that shit exploded and got to it and to the point, I listened to what my father said, man, look, you know, because once again, I wasn't from no welfare poor family. And I, I'm not trying to bad dog people that's, you know, on their knuckles. OK, because, you know, that's every day. But I had other options. OK. And. And, and one of my options, and I said, but look, fuck this. You know, I, I done did. I done, I done wore the finest tailor-made suits. I've been across the world. Uh, I done ate at the finest restaurants, okay? It's somebody else's turn. Fuck that. Mm. You know, I moved on. But, to, and, 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 and it got to the point, as, as, as the years went by and by, the game was changing, okay? Fucking, when, when, when I was out there doing that shit, you know, people respected you, okay? It was enough money for everybody, you know, especially in my, you know, uh, people around me. Everybody ate. And it was enough motherfucking money for the next motherfucker to eat as well, okay? So we didn't have this shit that's going on today, you know? It's just the loyalty, you know, is 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 in the game in the street. It's not there like it was when I was in the streets. Okay, so that it, it was it was so many so many factors to you know that I I sat down and I talked about, and I did de I decided you know. Just to you know, get out the game. You know, I gradually, gradually got myself out the game. You know, me, me, me you know, Terry, you know, Derek. You know, we we always talk. They called me for advice, all that. But far as anything else, you know, when I gave them the uh, um, the blessing. I'm going to say the blessing to go ahead and do what you, you know, do. Yeah. Go ahead and boss up and do your own things. You, you done matured to that level to do that. Go ahead and do that. 
okay? It wasn't no friction. It wasn't like, uh, man, look, if you got, if you gonna do this, we got a problem. Fuck no. Nah. I'll be the, man, it, went, it didn't go down like that. I gave them all the respect and, 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 and courtesy, whatever, to do what they, to do what they had to do. And if they needed me, hit me up. And we always remain friends. We never beef. We, we have much love to this day. So that, you know, answering your question, that's, uh, was factors that, you know, I dealt with, you know, cause you got to look at, man, it was so many times, man, that I got caught up, man. The police took my money. The police took me out, took me downtown and motherfuckers who, who was selling dope back then. And they know who, what I'm talking about. If they, if they were some ballers, they know what I'm talking about. When you go downtown, you go downtown to narcotics, to the room of doom. It's right on the fucking door. The room of doom. That's where narcotics headquarters was. And when you went in that room, you, you looking for an ass whooping for fucking 24, 48 hours before you even go to a sale. Okay. Mm. I went through all that shit. Okay. I went through motherfuckers just stopping me in, 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 in the in they knew every car that I had stopping me, not even arresting me when I could. I mean, I was so fucking drunk. I got home, I would say, "Damn, baby, uh, how much money you take out my pocket?" My wife would say, "I didn't take take your money. The police took my money." Okay, so why would the fuck they let a motherfucker so intoxicated drive their car? Let them go. Yeah, because the motherfuckers took my money. <laughs> so, I mean, it was so, the shit, it was so many factors. It was so, it, it, I just moved on, Black. I just moved on, bro. Yeah. 